Hey everybody, welcome back to Workers of Resources. I hope you're having a great day today. I'm feeling a little under the weather today, so I might be a little, might be a little slower, might be a little calmer, right? I might have more chill. <laughs> uh, but you can see the construction's happening over here. This is out by the steel area, and uh, we got a lot of trucks and stuff incoming. We got track builders out here to build tracks, so things are looking pretty good. We're getting the fuel pump. Fuel unloading and unloading happening over here. And I'm just going to keep sort of telling this train that it's allowed to ignore the lights. Because it's going to keep stopping for them if I don't. There we go. Uh, and, you know, now that the track is getting built out here, we'll, we should be able to get a train to come out here and, uh, and grab, uh, drop off fuel, potentially, right? You'll need to get all the piping and stuff done. So, hopefully, with uh, the various different roadways starting to get done, you can see the gravels being dropped off of this long gravel road here. They're starting to build all the way out that way. Uh, we should uh, be able to start getting this construction crew to go to work. And you can see that those guys are getting it. They just don't have a good source for gravel or anything yet. So let's hook that up while we're uh, over here. Here's our gravel source, right? We're going to come over to the track just the train distribution office and this has hopper cars, right? We have the same hopper cars that we were going to use for coal to transport coal. Those same ones can be used to transport gravel as well. Uh, now, we probably want to buy maybe like one or two more. Let's just see. Uh, as far as we go to the wagons, I don't think we can actually see them. Doesn't look like it. There are another 13 containers, uh, vehicles and containers in here. So, like, it doesn't give you the entire list. I really wish it would. Um, so, what we're going to have to do is just basically see how many we have. I think the first train that gets prompted here will most likely have... I, I think anyway, it will most likely have like a maximum amount of cars. So we should see how much are there on the first one. Uh, so we're going to hook up this source of gravel. All right. And then we're going to say that we load gravel from here. And uh, we'll say that we could do it after like 20%. Just to leave some in for, for everything else. Okay. So just make sure you don't take all of it. Because uh, it's more important to have over here than it is over here. Uh, and then we're going to go over ahead and add this as a location. And we want to unload gravel here. And let's say we'll keep it at 60%. And so that right now should be prompting a train right away. There it is. And so we can see that we've got, looks like, five hopper cars. A maximum of five cars in here for the gravel. And uh, let's see how fast it loads. Because I was told earlier that you know, with the, the, the station being so short that this won't load very fast because of that. So let's just kind of see how fast is not very fast. The track is done. It should pull right in here. It'll choose whichever direction it wants to go and it will come on in here and it loads. I think that's fast enough. I don't think I've got a problem with that speed. I mean, maybe it's not as fast as it could be, but... That speed doesn't really bother me much. It takes about, I don't know, like a tenth of a day. Yeah, maybe a, yeah, about a tenth of a day, maybe a fifth of a day to fully load. Which isn't, uh, isn't too bad. I, I mean, probably not the fastest it could have loaded, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Especially considering that it's something like gravel where it's gonna, you know, we load once, we take it a long distance, we unload it. You know, we got time for that to replenish and everything too. So that's gonna drop it off over there. And uh, now we're left with 3,000 gravel over here. I think we're going to go ahead and build the cement plant now. I think I want to get them working over here if we could. Uh, we can get a lot more people over here to start making our own concrete, our, our own cement and stuff. And uh, that'll start using more gravel. And then we probably have a need for more gravel processing at that point, too. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on to, let's say, all 15 workers. We'll load that up so we can get maximum... Uh, gravel production out of this one facility to see if it's adequate enough we'll go ahead and try on the cement plant and then if we head over here where this train is, is it on its way still or did it already reach oh that's the track builder so it must already be here yeah here it is so it's unloaded already done and uh we should have gravel here yep so now we can tell these guys to get their gravel from here and they're gonna just pull right into the storage it doesn't matter uh it, it would be a good idea i think to maybe have this road be gravel but, um, of course, to do that, I would have to have an alternate route, an alternate route into here. So right now it's just like, it's going to stay dirt, uh, because this is the gravel. Um, maybe one thing I could, I think actually I could try this. 
let's do this we'll let you guys get enough gravel to get this road done all the way out to this point and uh and then from there we'll tell the other road crew to come over here and uh get this to be gravel from there i think that'll be fine uh, and then the pipe is getting done so we can start getting fuel over here let's talk about fuel too head over here and talk about fuel so just checking out my crops while we're at it so this is full very nice and this is starting to fill up a little bit so there's not much here and it's going to kind of go evens even stevens on these two things which maybe is a good thing maybe it's not a good thing you know i, I don't know i haven't really decided yet but this here right is the tank that this is going to pull from and the pipe is done so it's going to pull in right here so if we get a train to this point it has access now to 16 oh, okay 10 tons of fuel and this is always maximum priority because this is the fuel for our republic right now our entire republic if this tank is empty then we can provide fuel nowhere and that's no good we have obviously don't want that to be a thing so all right so uh just taking a look other at other things here i think for the hazardous waste plan i think isn't going to work for us uh this chemicals truck yeah we're probably not going to need you honestly um i think i'm going to take this truck and tell it to come over it's wear and tear is really high we're up to 14 years almost 14 years on this thing I'm going to tell you to go here for now. Get yourself as repaired as you can anyway. Uh, this orphanage is kind of maxing out, but we don't have any food, clothes, or meat here. So I, we probably have kids dying. <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say kids are probably dying here. Uh, so let's do something about that. You are going to add this as a source. And that should be a pretty easy thing. You should have all the connections you need there. Just bump it up to 60%. And we should see trucks go over here and add to that. I don't know why. I just forgot to do it. Or, I mean, it's, a, it's a kind of a little bit of irony there, isn't it? Or maybe it's maybe it's not irony. Maybe I'm not using that term correctly here, but, you know, we forgot about the orphans, right? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, okay. If anyone out there was an orphan and grew up, I'm obviously kidding, right? It's just, it's a bit of humor. I don't want you to get all worked up, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if that offended you, but it's, uh, it's just a joke in for, for the game, okay? Most of the best jokes in the world, in my, in my belief, most of the best jokes are jokes that uh, are slightly offensive. <laughs> Slight, ever so slightly offensive to some people. <laughs> there's, there's a part of that that makes them funny, right? All right, anyway. Uh, let's take a look at uh, this. You're getting mechanical components delivered, and I think that's probably... It's almost everything. You, you couldn't... Just, like, one ton more, you couldn't bring that here, really? You're gonna, you're gonna make another helicopter come out here for just one more ton? All right, we want Cernakova Labor to get out here, and I'm going to bring out the other guys, too. Let's get this farm to be high priority so that we can have even more fields. We want to have even more crops. Uh, so as far as the fields go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 on this side. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to get 15 on this side, too. So we're going to go, uh, I guess we need five more uh it looks like there's two okay four we, we did it over there like that that's fine we'll, we'll do it over here so we'll say that these fields will be on this side right and they're gonna be let's say here that's one and then we'll go like this two and then we'll have this go back to back like this so over a bit over all right and then it'll be kind of wanted this road to be able yeah there's no reason why not. i can scoot this forward that's fine uh so we'll go about like this yeah this will be fine and then right up here next to that like so that gives us 14 and then the 15th one could be maybe right behind this if it fits right here that'd be sweet uh i could maybe do it like right here or right next to the tank. I could also do it maybe right here. That's interesting. Depends on how big the big field is. Is it going to fit here? Now the big field's got to be in this area. Yeah, so right across from this is where the big field's supposed to go. And we'll put it right here. Right up next to this field. So it'll be like that. Hopefully it doesn't make this one smaller. 157. We're good. Okay. 
there's our big field for there and then uh we got to keep going with the big fields actually we'll get we'll get one more medium field over here in a second that's not what i wanted to do that's a bit of a misclick that's gonna be unfortunate uh all right i mean it'll recover but it's gonna take a while i'll probably use a bunch of fertilizer for it uh let's get this to be same place we uh did this before right we come around like this get right down here where the fence is and we put the dot right on that part right there right about about there should do it ish i mean it's ish not perfect nothing's perfect here and we should be able to fit one more in right like so all right so i should see right up next to it yep 481 481 481 481 and this has a little bit of a fertility issue because of that misclick but otherwise we're good to go all right so let's get the roads connected like that there we go and then we need one more medium field looks like i can just pop it back here there's room back here for more medium fields actually uh interesting you know i kind of like that because this could be for distribution and stuff too later i don't want to put any fields here so this is kind of all yeah i like this idea actually let's let's try this we'll leave these for now uh but i'm gonna put the medium fields back here like this because they they'll fit so we'll say uh we need three more right so one here like this and then we flip this around and we put the other one on a next to it like so and then one more out this way connected to it like so okay and then i guess we could do one more if, if it if it's necessary i mean there's no reason not to use the space we have right i mean i, I don't think there is so i'm gonna go like that okay and then the roads can just go like that and then from the middle out and then like this and from the middle out perfect hey this farm is not done yet so when this farm is done we'll have that assigned there um i, I probably need to get i kind of want to get something in here um so there's a way to get something in here by just doing this road in here like that and it's possible we could add we could add a number of ideas in here a number of things in here just even if it's just power or some other type of thing can be added in behind this uh even storage really because there's uh this is liquid fertilizer storage right but if we wanted to have maybe like actual fertilizer storage we could do that this farm over here doesn't have a whole lot of room for that but if i move this field then we might have it with the factory connection uh okay move this tank over here and then i can do that factory connection right there that's possible too uh for now i think maybe yeah a, a tiny little dump over here could work uh for this purpose so if i put like a little dump, dump with not even claw machine just a small one 80 tons of mixed waste would be 80 tons of fertilizer just sitting back here right i mean that's that's a good idea i could just do a small one like right here maybe like this just an extra 80 tons of fertilizer i mean i think the internal storage for this is 75 tons uh 135 tons okay so like i guess i have the room so maybe i just do a bigger one it's fine anywhere we can get more fertilizer and storage is probably a good thing so we'll go in and do one of these bigger ones since we have the room and uh it'll just angle it a little bit and let's maybe flip it to where the roads on this side and call it good like that so extra fertilizer storage they'll just dump it here and then the farm will just pull it in easy okay uh so yeah once this is completed we'll start to farm even more fields this time and we should have enough to last us like i said before like the entire year we should be good to go uh right here we have 981 left in this tank it's march uh we have not touched the reserve yet and the train i think has some more to take in train's got another 603 tons on it but it is sitting here waiting until loaded so it's going to be sitting here for a very long time uh there's no real reason for that to wait because they're not going to get that extra four tons so i'm going to tell it to just proceed to dump off the supply that it has this time and uh that should get us pretty much topped off and filled up for the rest of the spring okay cool now you might notice between this video and the last video we haven't really grown much in terms of population uh, and that's because i don't have a whole lot of room for housing and it's because i don't have uh, because i don't have a room for housing there's not a whole lot of like family growth but it's also because i don't really have the infrastructure needed to support more than twenty thousand citizens i only have one food factory right one food factory is going to be an issue unless i can bring additional food into this spot 
uh, and, and have it distributed or have a second uh, position or a second place where food can be uh, picked up and distributed. I'm kind of thinking of setting up another food distribution area, another food uh, storage and factory and stuff kind of like over in this area. I just need to keep it adequately away from people. But if I can get it close enough to where they can walk it, then that's actually not a big deal. Um, and, and another food factory out this way would be nice because then we get a source of food here and that way, you know, we're kind of spread out and it also enables us to have a more local source of food for Charlemagne's North as well as over here. So we can have food distribution from this point sort of serving this town and this town as they're built, which is cool. Um, I also, uh, previously I had this rail all stretching all the way over here. And uh, I've decided not to do that because we are going to have a channel here. So this is going to have to be a bridge or a tunnel. And I, I'm, I'm obviously going to go for the tunnel. Uh, but it's going to end up going underneath this really deep. Um, and then we have... It's a shame I didn't really think this far ahead here. Um, if this intersection was here, that would have been really cool because this is already elevated. And I could have actually taken this rail up the elevation and then had additional height for a bridge, which would have been kind of cool. Uh, but since I don't have that, and I'm just going to go straight from this point, uh, we're going to go dip underneath here with a with a big tunnel here instead. So I'm just going to lay that in so that I can get to work on the uh, on potentially having this canal that I want. Uh, so we're going to say that the railway is starting here. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go six levels down from this point right. Uh, let's say right there. Okay. And then uh, we're going to say you go all the way down and meet that there. There's our tunnel. And then this tunnel is going to come uh, at this elevation. We're going to keep it keep it this low at 18 meters down. We should be able to come straight across into this one, right? So let's bring it down to about... Uh, I'll actually use the azimuth here, won't we? Yeah, we will. There we go. Out there. And then uh, it's a tunnel anyway. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, we'll have it straight anyway that brings the tunnel adequately underneath the channel um and actually it's a little too long it doesn't need to be quite this long so we could actually bring it up maybe here instead we'll bring it up from here let's grab this and then we're gonna go from this point up to the surface like that okay and then up to the surface from this point like that there we go and then this rail just continues on from the from there to hook up to here. And then from here, it hooks up to here. And now when I go to dig this trench, um, you know, I don't know if it's going to allow me to do it because of the tunnel being there like this. So I may need to do the tunnel after I dig the trench, but at least it's marked. And that's what I'm looking for is just to mark it for now. So I kind of know where it's going to be. So I think in anticipation for that being a problem, I'm going to just take this middle segment and got that. And so now I've got the lead down and the lead up, but I don't have the middle segment. And so that's going to let me uh, make my little channel that I want to do later. Okay. And actually I have the equipment in the area now, don't I? So I could even go as far as to start it. I could say lower terrain. Uh, it's going to be a fairly wide channel and these a lot of, you know, there's going to be a lot of ships and stuff. So I think we could just... We hit lower terrain here. Let's let's take a look at what the elevation actually is for this. Okay, so we're gonna go in about like this, and we can see that we are quite high. We got to go down a pretty good distance here. It may be worth doing a bridge instead, because of how high that is. I mean, we're already 10 meters up, so we really only need to get the bridge to go up like another 22 meters. I think it is. Right? Isn't the tallest ship like 32 meters high or something like that? It's really really high. Uh forget what it is but uh, either way this is where we're going to make this channel and I think it's going to be probably as wide as this I think this is a good width for this it's going to allow for ships to really move through here we'll mark that in and it comes all the way out this way and meets up with the sea well I mean it's a river but it's going to meet up eventually with the sea via the river like that yeah that's where we're going to end up being with that. So maybe I could mark this because it's not going to necessarily be obvious. Um, unless it starts showing up on this. I suppose if we do it like this, it'll show up with F2. We can kind of see the depth of it.
Like if I go far enough, we could probably see it, uh, you know, the lines and changing elevations and things and making a nice little wall there for that. Yeah, it's something else I'll work on. It's not a vital thing. That's something that needs to happen right away or anything. So it's just another thing that I'm going to have to work on over the, over time. So I'll, I'll keep working on it later. It's fine. Um, and then maybe just to mark it, just so I know where I'm going with it. We could say a road, a dirt road going like this. Uh, it looks like it maybe. I want it to be a straight road or a straight channel here, so I'm gonna maybe make it like this instead. There and I have no idea if that is the right distance or not. Hang on, let's do this. Let's do this correctly, like we did before. The U are gonna be 165 meters wide, let's say. About there, 165 meters uh, is gonna be from this point here. Okay. All right. And then on this side, we're going to go another 165 meters from here to here. So we need it to be this wide ish, something like that. So we're going to take this road from here and connect it to the other one right there. All right. That's the marking for where our channel is going to be. Yeah, I think that's nice. It looks pretty good. All right. So now we've marked it. We don't have to we don't have to worry about it anymore. I'll work on that over time. Uh we have this done looks like. Our passenger platform is done. There's no power to it, but I don't th I think that's fine. So what I think I want to try to do most of these places I think are going to need work days and and they need steel of course too. Um let's maybe get some steel brought out here as well if we could just get that going we don't need this to be done i don't know why that keeps being selected i'm probably just like clicking and dragging right so let's get these done uh they're the ones that are most important right here and obviously steel you 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 and you need to be done uh and then this 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 and then the power connections as well we have lots of different little nodes here are for power hookups and we're gonna need to uh, oh you can't access because they're making it yeah they're making this gravel uh, that's fine. Uh, maybe we could we could get some road crews out to do this too, just to temporarily in, in order to get these uh, all done. So how about we? Oh, you can't do that until yeah, you have to have this done first. All right, we need this to be uh, high priority there to get that done. Okay, so anyway, we've delivered all the gravel. That looks pretty good. I think road crews. Uh, we're gonna make this a gravel area too because we can. Well, as soon as you're done laying the gravel in, I'll let you have your gravel. And then I'm going to have a road crew come out and make this a gravel road too. I had to wait until that truck leaves. Once that truck leaves, then his path is already predetermined and he, it's not going to interrupt him anymore. We'll do that and we'll get the road crews to come out and handle this part too. So road crews come out and do this. Okay. Maybe I can get them to do more roads at a time. Uh, if I go out like from here. No. Like, can I get you to do all of these roads at the same time? Thank you. Yep. There we go. Just need to have access to them all at the same time and then we're good. All right. So we'll get, get that to happen and they should leave and come out and get the gravel and stuff that they need. Uh, yeah, so I think that's going to be what happens. We're going to take in and get another food source over there. Uh, this courthouse, I think it's okay to go ahead and continue the demo on that. Because uh, I, don't, I don't think we're really ever going to need a small courthouse anymore. I, I just wanted to see if this could handle it. And it can easily. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Uh, and then I think I'm going to get rid of this prison too. We have too much on this anyway. So we'll go ahead and continue the demo on the prison too. Uh, because all the prisoners are over here. We have 80 prisoners in here. And we're reforming them really well. So I got no reservations, no no problems there. Uh, plenty of people in coal and uh, the power plant is 80% done. I did pause it because I don't really have the infrastructure in place right yet to use it. So I need to get these done first uh, and then get the power lines and stuff all hooked up and be 18 megawatt. Uh, and then I can turn this on because otherwise there's really no point in having this uh, do that. I think also it would be beneficial for me to get another one of these connection points since these are limited in how much power they can actually push out. Uh, I feel like probably not going to be able to get a full 18 that way. So if I get another one of these and maybe push it like over here, I might be able to get uh, 
cables and stuff or the, the wires and stuff moving this way um so i think i'm gonna try that we're gonna maybe just take away that one real quick so we'll leave this and then uh this one i think i'm gonna bring you out this way if you'll let me you will not necessarily maybe here and then over okay you'll let me do that that's all i need okay so you're gonna bring you all the way out to here okay and then what we'll end up having is i think another one of these switches these high voltage switches we're gonna put this i think maybe right over here like this should be an okay spot for it just to give us another hookup so you are gonna go honestly i probably don't even need these anymore there's like a very little amount of metal, metal scrap in here the just the demolition crews will take care of that this doesn't have any vehicles so we can remove that this doesn't have it's got three garbage trucks that are working this okay that's fine um, but that's on this side of the road so whatever let's just get rid of some of these roads here uh they need to remove the metal scrap out of here in order for this to be torn out and then once that's done i can just take this line and go all the way that way and so that leaves us with like what are we going to do to hook up there well it's going to be this one so this one will come out this way instead here and then we'll hook you into that one right there oh building's in the way oh really okay hang on try this bring you out this far and then from there we go into there still need two really I don't want to have two. Don't make me do two. Here, maybe I can see where you can go from here and then there. Ah, there's a way to connect this. I'm just, I'm sure of it. Just have to get just close as possible. Damn, that is not at all how I thought that would go down. It did work though. I did get it. Okay, so it's a little bit of a cable mess. But we have two power plants right next to each other, so. Uh, and we have really solid labor for them now. Thank you, Cableways. Oh, man. Cableways are the bomb, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bring myself. I'm a millennial. I'm an older one, but I'm still part of that generation. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, yeah. Lots of workers waiting on here, too. So we uh, we have the capacity is what it, basically what I mean here. We have the capacity to... Uh, have more workers headed out this direction so when we get this online and we get this online we have the workers to staff it uh, in addition to that we could also get more people sorting waste and more people uh, on the power plant we have the capacity to do just that so uh, we'll have that labor coming out very shortly but uh, we will need uh, these to be prioritized to build them and uh and get this out there and i don't want to do too much of these cables um because we're not making our own electrical components yet, but we have a ton of money. So like, I, I feel like we can afford to spend it where it's important. And uh, power stability is a pretty good place of importance. Uh, it's not really about stability at this point. This is mostly just about being able to export more. So I guess it's probably not worth it, if I'm being really honest, it's probably not worth it to upgrade all of these lines um we'll get these in place but i'm probably not going to upgrade any more than i already have here so we have this dedicated line out that's already done and uh this can now feed additional power uh in excess of 15 megawatt when it's all done uh, so that's good um but for this stuff here i don't think we really need to increase this anymore we don't need to upgrade any of these that are in here yet we don't need to upgrade this this is this big cable here that's going out uh realistically i don't need to build this yet i'm gonna actually pause this one we don't need to build this one yet uh and that's because uh there's just no reason to um uh, it's gonna cost us more in electrical components than the extra money i'll get for that additional three megawatts where it matters here though is being able to take a cable out that way and go over to tobavina over there or to getting a secondary cable that can run alongside maybe the backside of this mountain and get over to another border connection for power. Now we're talking because now we can export an additional 18 megawatts potentially, right? So that's a big deal. Uh, and that's a big enough deal actually where I would say we probably should go ahead and do that foreign power connection on this side. And uh, you got to do it right on the border like this. So 
It would have to be like right over here. You could do it about like this. Yeah, so right about here, we'll make another foreign power connection. Right? And then we we'll just bring this dirt road all the way up to connect to there. And with this, ooh, that's really close to the rail. Let's not do that. Uh, yeah, pull that back. That's too close to the rail. Bring the rail out first. And then we'll do the road. Yeah, so it needs to be out further. We'll, we'll go about like this then. All right, so with that done, and the rail is kind of just marked. It doesn't have to be completely out like this, though. Just right there is fine. Uh, with all of that done, we can uh, build this as well. And that gives us an extra power connection. And now we can run a line all the way out like this and have even more power exported uh, if we want to. And that's like something that we can do later, though. I don't need it right now. Um, I am going to build the external connector, though, because as soon as we do that, we can negotiate another contract to build another one. All right, so we can actually make progress on that before we're ready. Uh, so here's this. We can actually do it already. Yeah, we do another another uh, connection point here now. So now that we've laid in the plans to build one, we can negotiate a contract for the second one. And we can keep doing that over and over again and make as many connection points over here as we want. So really, having a power export industry is a very viable option. Uh, but this is going to sit here at around 80% built. When this thing starts to get really bad and it's like getting very bad, like decommissioned wise, uh, we'll just flip this one on. We can tear this one down and then rebuild another one right next to it. Uh, just keep doing that if we need to. Uh, let's take a look really quick over here by steel. I, I want to get an update on steel. So it looks like we're... It's mostly... It, it's, it's just steel needing to be delivered to these buildings. Right, we need steel to make steel kind of thing. And without the helicopters having access to steel, this is quite challenging uh, because the helicopters really would be helpful here in, in delivering these goods. Uh, but now that we have the train to deliver it, uh, well, not really. We're out of steel. So it looks like I'm going to have to buy more. You, you're allowed to go buy steel at the border now. There you go. And uh, now we should see steel being brought in here for construction. We should see steel being brought over there. Now, they'll just put the maximum amount of flat cars into getting steel now, because I told them they could. So this one will have 167 tons of steel, and this one is going to buy a whopping 517. And, you know, they'll either dump it off here or they'll dump it off down there. It's going to be both places, really. Uh, they're just going to do as much as they can. You see, this one's only got one car because we're out of flat cars. So I might need to have even more of these flatbeds. Uh, open hulls, whatever you want to call them, cars. So let's uh, let's check used market really quick. Uh, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but 16 years old. This is like scrap worthy, and I'm looking at 140 tons of material there. So I'm thinking not. Nah, I'm going to pass on that one. And there's really no other category here that's worth anything to me. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that too. We're not going to bother buying any used vehicles at the moment. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, okay, so for the 800 now people without a flat, we need to start getting labor out to steel, right? And so what I'm thinking of doing here is I'm going to start using these Dniprio flats. Now, I could add more of these houses and put one right here, but I think a flat right here would be kind of cool. Uh, another place for the Dniprio flats, and this is sort of like starting the big city, if you will, right? We're starting the bigger part of... Because Charlemagne is pretty good, but it's not, quote-unquote, the big city, living right now yet right so that's going to be when we start using the Dniprio flats and so i'm going to say the 200 nearly 200 tons of steel that it takes to make this thing i'm going to put one of these flats right by this uh gas station and i think we're going to put it right up near the road here probably about here right behind this gas station like this and then i'm going to flip it and we're going to put another one right opposite of it. So this is going to provide housing for a thousand people here. It's going to be pretty nice, I think. We're in range of everything we need. And uh, for the moment, to get this started, we're going to have this road kind of come out this way and then over. We could actually have it go straight and continue on this way later. That's, that's fine. We could even put another flat here and here. Uh, now, for the moment, it's important that this be able to reach that. 
but eventually it'll need to reach another train station over here which it will be able to do because we're gonna have another passenger station around this area um this is a straight track but we'll have it deviate into a passenger station at some point either on this side or this side of this track uh, and that will provide transportation via the train network to all the different places that we've been setting up to work which is uh to say at the moment that's bringing the server cernakova and letting them walk to various places there uh bringing them into this area via this connection where is it right here <laughs> yep right this connection do you guys finish this oh they finished all these rails but they didn't finish the tunnel so they must have come through here and then just kind of you know use the crossing to get in where they needed to go they haven't finished the tunnel yet they can't even start this no they should be able to start it from this side they should be able to come in here and then start it on this side that should be how it works maybe they don't have it selected anymore I do I did have that period of time where I didn't do the auto search and everything and then sometimes it doesn't work connect road connection doesn't exist okay so it must be it must be signaling that's stopping this from happening it is we're gonna do that and then make sure we do that as well yeah that should allow them to do what they need to do uh, to get in here well it's saying it doesn't it's really bizarre because you could build if you could build this then you should be able to build this I'm a little confused as to why you can't connect to that uh you can come in through here and then hmm that doesn't make any sense to me I'm gonna have to look at that it doesn't hasn't delivered anything to the site is it the other signals maybe no all right you know what it might mess things up but temporarily I'm gonna turn this into a two-way track and I'll do the same here that should enable them to get in there I shouldn't hear any excuses now because that's a direct direct shot right to that tunnel well that rail I guess too but this rail and then that tunnel it's so weird that they can't get into that that doesn't really make any sense to me because they can build this so they should be able to build that but oh well I don't know track builders man sometimes they just do weird things have you continue on and then we'll let this go too okay uh real quick check on our food situation we are out of crops here which means we're dipping into our reserve and we're getting low here too okay so i mean we have uh, like a few thousand more people than we had before before i wasn't having to dip into the reserve now we're going to start seeing the reserve get dipped into and that's dangerous that's a problem so we're going to need the distribution office temporarily we're going to have to tell it to buy crops as well uh, i didn't want to do that but we're going to have to so we're going to allow you to drop off crops and uh we're going to go ahead and tell you to buy crops from here and so now we have a crop train with the distribution office Oh, wrong one. Uh, it's up here. This one right here. Keep it 70% full. Yeah. All right. So you should now make a big long train with boxcars. You just did, but you can't leave because this guy's stuck. So let's let you go. And then the big train with boxcars is now going to go and pick up a bunch of crops and deliver them. And that's going to be our way of staying alive for now. This guy is so lost because these track builders are just in the way constantly. Yeah. What are you stuck for? Track builders. Come on, guys. All right. What is the deal? What are you stopped for? Hold on a minute. Why are you stopped? This whole section is purple and they're building the track in here somewhere. You really should not have stopped, but just to kind of help that along, I'm going to do this. Now you'll never stop. There really shouldn't have been a reason to stop there at all, but we'll, we'll do that just so it's not purple there anymore. Cause it's, it's this train here. It's sitting here in this area, which is purple and, uh, cause it can't get out. So, oh, that's going to annoy me. How did that happen? Ugh. literally unplayable got to tear it down rebuild it <laughs> not gonna do that 
not gonna do that but now now that that's out of the way there's always one place like it's always one train that's holding up the entire network and that train is nine times out of ten that train is a track building train it's almost always that you have the right of way don't be yielding nobody yields uh we can take and make this a single uh place as well and give uh what is it it's this side like hmm it's like this isn't it this should be interesting okay wait so this side doesn't get the um i'm a little confused on how this is reading because but it being on this side of the intersection you'd think that this means that way but it's possible it means this here yeah you're not supposed to go from that side it's, it's, it's just odd that that's not like this anyway maybe i'm just really bad at reading this but we'll go in and do something yeah this seems more to make more sense to me and then number four should be a yield or a stop but either a yield that makes more sense to me i, I was really, really wasn't really sure what was going on with that but we're gonna have that be like, like, like that uh this is all set up and done we shouldn't have any problems with that anymore this is all set up and done although this isn't the same intersection so we could also merge this one and this looks like the same issue before so this should be that way four should be that way three is yield two has right of way five has right of way six is yield yep there we go that makes more sense to me okay getting the traffic system to kind of sort itself out before we start introducing personal cars later yeah uh you have a bunch of crops now I'm gonna keep you alive this is more more crops being delivered here along with meat the uh, distribution office is nice right because it will create mixed uh mixed payloads here if you will mixed uh consists or whatever the hell it's called um so it'll create a train that has both things instead of just only one at a time which is nice so we have plenty of crops in here that's not what we wanted okay that's the problem it's dropping crops in here let's limit the amount of crops in here to uh basically nothing if we could deliver the let, let's deliver it to 36 tons i think even less than that would be nice how about two percent We'll, we'll do two percent when we're done uh chemicals is the big thing we want to store in here so we're going to store like 70 80 percent chemicals in here okay no fabric no alcohol no food no clothes no electrical components none of this none of this none of this right all of these things uh explosives we do want to store some explosives in here uh we'll go 88 tons of explosives so this leaves us with just eight tons of crops which is great because that means i don't actually need a truck to bring crops over here uh it'll just get dropped off here and eight tons of it will go into this warehouse and then the forklifts can take care of all of that so that's fine with me uh lots of chemicals we need lots of explosives we need so the next thing to do now just to make sure this doesn't uh like go bad on us right now uh is i'm gonna take this office really quick it's got a lot of covered halls i'm gonna tell you to pick up crops from here just for now you're gonna load crops and i'll save I don't need you to save any of it load crops and then uh drop off those crops into here is probably fine just i need it to be reserved for food so you're gonna drop it off in there uh, until it's like as full as possible okay all right so, so this office will take care of that for the time being to empty this out so it doesn't have so many crops in it and then uh yeah, so we're not farming enough right that was the whole deal it's like we're not farming enough and uh, this is 95 percent done now we're just waiting on a few minor components left and then i can get even more tractors in here and stuff too which is good we just laid these fields in so the fact that they're not you know growing right now is not that big of a concern um i could however have this nope not you 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 have extra tractors i could however have you assign to these crops just to help get those tractors to work right now because there's no reason why those shouldn't be uh you know growing we should be able to get those going now too so those spare tractors we have that are just sitting over here waiting to be useful they can go to work now uh, out of that farm and we can start getting stuff ready over there for that okay all right i did want to in this video look at karasna but 
Um, I did say also that I, I wanted to get chemicals going too, because it's a major expense for us. And so I'm kind of going back and forth on what I want to focus on here, because my construction crews really only have, I have a limited capacity for construction. Could I make more construction offices? Absolutely, I could. But I guess I'd probably put them here if I was going to do it, because they would come out and then they would get into the supply that they need from there. I haven't done that yet because I didn't really know exactly where I wanted to do it. Where were they going to be located? Now I'm fairly confident that this space is reserved and, and or is, is empty. We're not going to use it. Um, so now I, I think I can probably add a couple more construction offices to make that happen. But doing it over here, there's a problem with that. Kind of. And that's that we're really not building a ton of stuff over here anymore. Most of our construction is now going to take place over here. And because of that, I kind of want to get a supply of all the construction materials to be brought over here. And that's what this office is. It's another construction office that has building supplies ready to go, right? These are all gravel roads now, which is nice. And so this office can get to work bringing the steel over here. And you are confused. Of course you are. Goodbye. Any of you other, any other uh, trains confused? No? I don't see any more question marks. Okay. Uh, so like this, what this is for is another construction office so that the other one doesn't have to come all the way out here and do this, but it's fairly slow. I mean, we're getting a steel delivered, but it's still fairly slow. I think most of what needs to be delivered. Uh, are you seriously doing this right now? What are you dropping off? It looks like you just dropped off steel, but I don't. Oh, is it for this? Ah, oh, damn it. Do this one. <laughs> okay, no iron processing here on this side, okay? No iron processing. It's it's all this. Deal here, please. Deal here, please. Let's say high priority. High priority. Okay. Let's uh, I guess I'll have to babysit you just a little bit here. Here you go. Okay? This is what you're doing. All right, right there. You can build the steel plant too. Um, we can always drop coal off directly in the steel plant as well. We don't need this to happen for steel drop off or for coal drop off. We can drop it off directly in this building too. So uh, that's that's not an issue. We can get uh, the steel mill up and running too. Then I can get people brought out here to start making steel. That's what I need to do. Yep, we just need workers. So let's see what happens if we send workers there, okay? So our unemployed, currently the unemployed are mostly over here. And uh, since this rail is now completed, uh, we can actually get them moving in through here now. So if I look at my signaling, we're going to want to do something like this. Uh, let's make this right up against it. Like that. And then you enter only after this guy leaves which we're going to make a chain there. And then you get out and you go this way, okay? All right, so train set. Been waiting for this thing, right? Um, there's my waste train, which is just sitting here. It probably needs to get back to work, doesn't it? God damn it. Where's this? How's this working? Tunnel's going to take a while, so we're not going to be able to get out here. The rail is brought this way. I don't know if I showed that on video or not, but the rail is brought out this way and connects here. Um, and this is all set up and, and working now, so I just need to get that waste over here. So waste processing is going to be slowed down a bit. Uh, we got a bit of a bottleneck there <laughs> on the count of this just being full all the time. Okay, we, we still need to work on that. Uh, but this track building, this track builder here, what I could do is take this stop. I can bring you over to this passenger station. Okay, I do want to see just how fast this is and whether or not it gets to the location in time. That's the key. Does it get to steal in time? from Cernakova. That's a really long trip, but it's a train. So, you know, it, the hope is that it, that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's enough time. So if we can get workers out here, that would be really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on that track, that, that passenger train, and then I'm going to turn on this. And by doing that, what I hope happens is a bunch of people start walking over here because they don't have jobs. So here they go. They're going to walk over here now. They're going to wait at this train station. A whole bunch of them are going to start waiting here. Get on the train. And uh, we should see passenger train. Here it is. 
it is going to go a really weird direction. What in the world are you doing? Okay. Oh, you had to get fuel. That's why. Oh, so you're going to go really weird now. Okay, you got fuel already. I'm not going to let you do whatever crazy loop you're going to do. This, I'm not going to allow that to happen. Because it's about to go like this and then all the way around right now. It had to get fuel. That's why it went this way first. But it's not supposed to do that. So once more into the breach, you should now go the, the correct direction. Because you have fuel now. Now the hope is that when you need to go get fuel again... You won't be able to, actually. You're not an electric train. Huh? Why? But, but why? I am so lost as to why you are doing that. Oh. Oh, that makes so much more sense now. Yes, that's why you're doing this. Okay, there isn't actually a way to come from this direction, which is never designed to do anyway, but you can't come from this direction and be on that passenger route. I see. Well, the good news is that you only have to do this once. Um, but I actually want to change that. I want to make that possible. For the future. Uh, we could do something like this. That would allow it to work. That's wild. I did not anticipate that being a problem. Okay, so this is why we, this is why we do it the way we do it, right? This is why we do things the way we do them. Uh, we're going to take the rail construction office and kind of do this for a second. Any of you stuck or confused? No? Which one? Waiting for red signals. Okay, go ahead. On this track that has no trains in your way. Good for you. Uh, I want you to go ahead and get this done, please. On the double. And then... We'll go ahead and add another set of signals like this to just kind of keep this going and encourage it to keep going like that. This is all one, it's all one direction. So it, it, does, it shouldn't matter uh, how that is. In fact, I probably could just take this signal away and have the clear be here instead. That'd be one way to do this. Yeah, let's do that instead. Have the clear be here and here. Okay, good. And then we technically don't need that one. So everything just kind of flows as it's supposed to. We could move this up to like here and then delete both of these signals. That would be okay too, I think. Well, this is a very long station, so I can't imagine we're going to have a train that's exceeding this. So I'll move it up here too. That's fine. Okay. Um, so that passenger train, right? It just has to go around because it couldn't get from this track. It was going to be stuck on this. Okay. It was going to be stuck on this third one here. And... If you take a look at the, the route that it has to go around here, that third track never actually crosses into this direction. And so it ends up not being able to get in here. So it needed to come from the other direction in order to get in there. And so it's going to end up going all the way around to get over here, which is not what it needs to do or not what it should have done. So now it should. <laughs> and now it's out of gas. Okay. All right. So... This fuel station is in a bad spot for this particular design. We're not ready for that yet. Go back to depot. Uh, we're not ready for train stations. I'm sorry. Not yet. I, I have some more track work to do. Now, I think I think this being done will take care of it. I think. Uh, but we still have the issue where it can't refuel. Because it's a fuel-based train. It can't refuel. So I still will need a way to get fuel uh, into trains out this way. And, uh, you know, there is this. As you know to dump off fuel here so maybe we could have this also kick fuel to a fuel station for trains but it's still way out here and man would i love to just have electric everywhere instead of having to deal with diesel 
Diesel sucks, man. I don't want to deal with it, but I don't really have much of a choice in this particular case. Uh, so we're going to have to get fuel out here with fuel rats and stuff to just to allow passenger trains to work until we can electrify the track. So the uh, train station for the tra trains will be here, I guess. This is a fine place for it. We'll go right here with it. All right. And then we'll add a small storage tank for this. It doesn't need to be very big. We'll go uh, one of these. Uh, let's go one of these 300 ton ones. And uh, we'll put it on this side. And it's better if we put it on this side because then the fuel rats can get to it. Yeah. Let the fuel rats get to it on this side over here. Uh, eventually, that's going to be the wrong direction. So it'll be back on this side. Fine. Uh, we'll go here with it. And then we want to go under. Want to go under the track. And then up. Uh, I think we're going to wrap around like that. No? Really? Okay. Maybe it's too close. I do have a habit of putting things too close. But the good news is if I spread it out and go further away, it actually makes it easier for the fuel rats. So fine. We'll get the fuel tank to be over here instead. There. This will be better. Uh, and that will probably tie up traffic because it doesn't have a parking spot. Gosh darn it. I just want everything to work easily. Can we just have things easy? All right, where's the where's the easy stuff here? Now it won't hold up traffic. Now you've got a pipe that goes directly over here. You'll need to be lifted up, so it'll get you to say here, and then from there we have ground access because that's the whole point right there. Then we'll take the above ground pipe from there, and we'll pop it into there. Okay, unless you're gonna tell me you need a pump, which I I don't believe you. <laughs> It might. I. I don't. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure this initiates the pull force. I haven't actually used it in that capacity in a long time. It's been a while since I've done train like that. Well, I mean, wait. We did it over here. We did it over here. What did we set up over here? This is a direct connection, isn't it? Oh no, we're just sending it to the station itself. Well, that's even. That's even easier. Oh yeah. Screw all this. We don't need all this. Man, I really am tired today. I'm sorry for my my inadequacies as a gamer, all right? I'm not a true gamer today, all right? Apologies for that. I'll have to work better at my gaming skills. It's important in life, you know? You got to get the important things right in life. All right, so we'll just build this, and then I'm going to get wooden tracks in here because it's really fast. And we're just going to do something like this. I don't really care how you do it. Just do it. It's just a really quick stop for a train that needs fuel. Okay. Go do that. Rail construction office. Build these. Okay. Uh, so pro, pro tip, I guess. It's kind of annoying to have to do this, but it is easier. Um, so these hotkey buttons up here, you can't put buildings here, which really sucks. I wish they would expand the functionality of this hotbar because... It has the potential to be really useful, right? Especially on expanded view, you can see everything, right? Many different tabs, but like why offer this if this is such a limited functionality? If you though, take one of the actions of a building, like say, assign new construction, you can put that in these hotbar slots, okay? So in this case, I could put it like say zero, for example. And, and then I have access to this as a hotkey, but I only have access to these if the building window for those actions is active or the building window is open. So if I close these, I can no longer click these button. Whoa, hang on. I can't click this, but I can click this. Oh, that is very interesting. I can click you, but not you. Ooh, but why? See, now I can highlight this. If I close this window, I can't highlight it anymore. But I can still do this one. That's bizarre. I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's a bug, not a feature. <laughs> anyway, so what I've been doing uh, until discovering that is I just take the rail construction office. I can collapse it right here. And then um, it's always open technically, right? Tell this to go back home. Uh, then it's always open. 
And so uh, I don't have to interact with it. I can go about my business. I can play the game, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's not really in the way. Uh, and then if I ever want one of these functionalities, I can just hit the one key on my keyboard and it's this right here, right? And I just hit one and I can assign it wherever I need to go. And I don't have to bother with the train construction office anymore. So I just kind of move around and I'm like, oh, okay, there's a, a track over here. I want them to build this. Cool. I'll just hit one and yes, go ahead and build this track, please. Right. Uh, and, and that's again made possible only because this window is open technically that's kind of how i went with this uh, a further collapsed mode would be really cool something that makes a building maybe as big as this and i could just set them like maybe as a line over here or or, or over here i guess but it, this is kind of getting in the way of the menu at that point so i'm thinking over here but that would be cool because then it would uh it would enable these buttons to all work because i could just have the bu the buildings themselves pinned over here and they'll always open that way you really don't have to code any additional functionality in the game other than the ui change where this could be smaller instead of allowing me to have buildings up here right so i like that idea all right lots of gravel in here lots of materials to build with this this office really should be able to do everything aside from the fact that it doesn't have any fuel for any of these so uh i need to get fuel out this way so to do that, uh, am I ready to go with the tracks yet? I think so. You can get out this way, but you, you can't go this. You have to be able to flow through here and then get into here. This is the prerequisite for getting fuel out that way is I need this rail done. They need to be building this and this tunnel, right? Which the tunnel is, I think, nearly complete because it, it lets me click this. So that means it's built underground already. Yeah, cool. So all the way up to here, they need to finish this and then they need to finish this and this and that's it, right? So here, here and here, and then I can have fuel uh, brought to my trains because they'll, they'll be able to come this way and then they'll be able to come into here, grab the fuel and then leave. And this has access now to 250 tons of fuel. So we're full here. And we're getting 250 here and here. Brilliant. That's exactly what I'm looking for. We need to have as much fuel as possible. Uh, ready to rock and roll. Uh, this warehouse is now done and it doesn't have a ton of crops in it, which is great. Which means all the crops are now in here. Yes. Good. And this is starting to... Oh, there are only... Okay. Hang on. You guys are done, right? Like, you guys are done grabbing the crops. You guys should be done grabbing the crops. I, you guys are done grabbing the crops. You're done. Let's, um, you don't have to do this anymore. Thanks, though. I appreciate your help. You can just, uh, you can just go on your merry way. That'd be great. Yeah, you don't have to be there, buddy. Thanks, though. Just send them back home, man. Uh, okay. So I'm looking at chemical factories, right? I'm seeing that five of them are partially done. Kind of building them all at the same time. Train's waiting too long. Could be track builder right here uh you're on your way home so i'll just teleport you this tunnel's completed comes totally completed now oh we're gonna get the stretch done that's really exciting because it means we can finally get uh this area over here this passenger station can can start working its way this direction which is very cool definitely want that to happen um there's also this tunnel here so you see this tunnel how it makes its way into here that's a way for this side to go this way but I don't currently have a way for this way to go that way. And I was thinking of adding another tunnel entrance right here that merges into this track and allows it to go that way. That could be interesting. Um, and it's really easy to do. We just put it on the other side. There's nothing in the way other than these pipes stopping me. And those pipes, I mean, I can go underneath them. So um, we're probably going to have another tunnel entrance here that takes them out and kicks them out over here and lets this kind of merge. Uh, or it could also... Uh, maybe come out like this and then it can just kind of wind in like that um, so instead of being straight on with this i think straight on with this would look better but eh, we might even be able to Ooh, i mean if these power poles weren't there i might be able to just make it come in from this side and then it would go onto this track and then they could leave that way which would be kind of nifty uh, opposite of that, you know, we can always have it come out here and then just merge onto this track. And then instead of going that way, it would go around, still keeping everybody going the same way around. No, well, it wouldn't be such a big deal, I guess. We have, uh, what, how many? 225 unemployed. I need to put, I need to put jobs. I need to get jobs. Uh, how are we doing on that track over here? Gosh, we're already in an hour. I feel like I don't get enough done. 
I've had someone tell me that I was rushing in a previous video. I was like, man, there's so much to do in this game. You know, like there's so much to do in this game. There's, I don't think there's a such thing as rushing. Unless you think I'm moving the camera too fast, which I mean, I'll just get less done per video if that's how you really want it. Oh, I, I hit the wrong button there. I was supposed to say skip red light and I instead told it to go back home. Yeah, that's a mistake. Well, it's fine. We're an hour in. I think we got things done. Kind of. Not as much as I wanted. We're definitely down. We're definitely losing money. We're spending a lot of money. Uh, that was all. That's all about steel, though. So if we take a look at our imports, it's all steel. 500,000 rubles worth of steel purchased. So that's a big deal. We also purchased a lot of crops as well because the uh, distribution office is the one handling it now. So it's going to purchase a lot of crops. So we're working on that, though, right? I mean, it's June. We're going to start farming here pretty soon we should see, start seeing harvest pretty soon here uh, a lot of fields are starting to grow we got tons of crops in the queue ready to go uh and then this train is sitting over here waiting for loaded and it will uh it'll leave as soon as it's loaded up so the, the earliest possible time we can get crops bringing in uh, or bring crops in there the better uh, we should have even more crops to bring in now for some reason they are not bringing in mechanical components here the only thing i think i can think of is that the helicopters no longer have access to them if that's the case, uh, let's see here. Yeah, there's no mechanical components. All right, I'll just tell you to buy them. I guess, whatever. Go ahead, buy the mechanical components. Buy electrical components too. Why not? Let's just spend money, okay? Let's just, we'll just spend the cash, all right? Right here. We'll tell you to unload it. Yep, right there. Trains will just get made and do the thing, okay? As soon as it gets its boxcars back, because it didn't have any boxcars. There it goes. Now it's going to go buy that stuff. Good for you. 34 tons of mechanical components, 17 tons of electrical. All right. I'm going to leave it run here. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I Thanks for putting up with me and my uh, rushing, I guess. And thanks for putting up with my lower energy sick day. I have to pay to go to work. Right? I have to pay to make videos because like, I have to put my daughter in daycare in order to have time to make these. So uh, I, if I'm going to be sick on a Wednesday which is one of the days that she goes to daycare. Uh, I'm going to work while I'm sick because it's costing me. <laughs> Take it easy. We'll see you. Bye-bye.